Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Okay, hello everyone. This is Gary Morgan with the Michigan Runner. Well, I'm here in Portland at the World Indoor Championship. Well, they have a big venue set up here at Pioneer Square. A band is playing. We just had the opening press conference with uh, all, the, uh, all the leaders of it, with uh, Vin Lanana and uh, Max Siegel, USATF CEO, Ashton Eaton, and a few other athletes. But we're right here in Pioneer Square to celebrate this event for the weekend. Medal winners will be coming over here. And you can see it's all decked out with Portland 2016. And uh, we'll show you a few things and a few things around this city that's all going on here with the World Indoor Championships here in Portland, Oregon. Okay, uh, what's your name? Jonathan Jones. So, how'd you feel about your uh, throws tonight? Um, I felt technically I, I still wasn't there. Uh, I was glad I, I was able to come out of you know the the, the, com, the qualifying to, to make finals. So I was you know fortunate to hit a decent throw to get into finals. So and then I hit a better throw to move move me up a couple places. So that was pretty nice. And it's been an awesome first experience for the major worlds. And uh, where where do you live at? Uh, Buffalo, New York. Okay, is that where you train also? Yes, it is. I did go to the University of Buffalo. I just graduated this past year. Yep, yep. I'm volunteer coaching there as well, so I can, you know, I'd like to coach later on, so I get to work with uh, my old, my older, my younger teammates, um, and get to still use the, the facilities, and and it's it's awesome. It's a good setup I got there. So being so young at this point uh, and being in a final, what what do you think you took out of this? Uh, you know, all these other uh, I would say that you know you can't really you can't really worry about other people you, you know and don't really worry about where you're seated because some people have good days some people have bad days and uh, I know a lot of the, the the higher seated guys didn't actually make the final so it was it was you just got to stay in your own zone and and do what you got to do yourself. And uh, you know obviously. You know, Is this the uh, beginning of a kind of a new era for um, American throwers, whether much younger set? I, I hope so. I know I know a lot of the uh, the older throwers are starting to you know think about moving on, and they're they're trying to. Reese Hoffa has been very good to me and, and helping me out, and I ask him questions all the time, and he's been kind of taking me under his wing to to help me and guide me the right way because he. I think he, I think that I could I have the chance and the, the, the ability to be be one of those another those big throwers for the USA. And uh, now that you've done this, uh, what's kind of your schedule between now and the Olympic trials? Um, I'll probably head back to Buffalo and take a week off. Then I'm I'm going down to Florida to train for a week at IMG, and I I still kind of hesitant. On, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the Florida relays meet. Um, I'm the reigning champ there from, from college for the past three years, so I, I'd like to go and keep it. But um, I think I need a break, uh, just get ready for outdoors. I think I'm going to do the Kansas relays I got invited to. Um, I don't know, yeah, I'm, it's kind of up in the air right now. If I get invited to some meets over in Europe, I'd love to do that, just just to get some experience under my belt and throw against the, the other the Europeans. So. Your coach is kind of guiding you. For sure, yeah. He he's 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 kind of he hasn't had anybody of my talent, so it's kind of we're both learning. Um, and then Reese helps you out. So. Yeah, for sure. I, I I talked. I got his number, so I text. We text back and forth, awesome. and I ask him. You know, I just like picking the 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 upper echelon of throwing's brain and just to learn because I I don't I don't know about some people like to to learn from their own mistakes, but I'd like to uh, you know learn from other people's mistakes. Michelle Carter. What's that last row like? 
Um, it was great. I I was just thinking about focusing on what I needed to do, just bring all my nerves down and calm down and just really relax and let my technique work for me. You know, it was a big night for the Americans already. What are, what's this team doing? Um. I mean, we're Team USA. <laughs> I mean, we I believe we are the world's greatest team, and we have a lot of people that are just coming up, and some great young athletes, and we have our seasoned athletes. And everybody came to bring their A game, especially here on home soil. So, um, and then hey, go Team USA all day. <laughs> Does it help a lot to have a crowd and, and not to have to travel the world? Yes, it was like for for once the world comes to us, and um, just having being at home and being comfortable in our own environment. Uh, I think plays a factor as well. It was, it was nice. I knew that I had the ability. And sometimes with training, you never know what could happen. So the, the, the fact that it happened on my last throw, I was really excited. Um, it just, I, I get to check something off my list and you get ready to focus and get ready for the Olympic trials. I don't know yet. <laughs> um, Texas I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, that's always home. Texas Relays is home. But I haven't looked at outdoor yet. This is what you wanted to focus on indoor. Yes, um, I think this year the one thing that I have worked on is my mental game. Because mentally, um, that's, that's most important than physically. Physically, I know I need to do it, but just getting my mind focused on what I need to do and calm down um, really helped me this season. What were you thinking on that last throw, knowing that you just need a little bit to regain the lead? Um, I was just like, okay, we're going to calm down, we're going to relax, and this, we're going to go for it. Um, the competitor in me came out that day, I mean today, and um, I was excited. Okay, we have Julie and uh, Camarina. Camarina Williams. Uh, Camarina Williams, and what's the, your little boy's your girl's name? Miley. She's uh, she's gonna be two here in a couple months. Cool. Future shot putter. <laughs> I don't know. She might get a little of her dad in her and be a runner. We're not sure yet. Okay. Well, <laughs> hey, how would you feel about today's uh, throws? Um, it was a little rough for me. I've been trying to get my timing back, coming back from some injuries, but um, it was fun to be out there. To be on this team, I did not think I was going to be here with how my indoor season was going. And yeah, I've got a lot of things to work on for outdoor, but I'm excited, and this gave me some confidence going outdoors. Right, right, yeah. No, I, I, I was almost ready to not come to indoor championships. It was just I was just having a rough time, and um, my technique was just off. And um, but. My husband talked me into it. He said, you know, just go have fun. And I did, and I found myself. And so, you know, today was still kind of that working on timing, but, you know, to be out there when Michelle did what she did, that was really cool. Do you think being here, uh, you know, for, of course, uh, coming back here at the World, being here on U.S. soil kind of gave you some confidence and kind of a hometown crowd type deal? Yeah, you know, it's always fun to go to meets and see people you know. Um, I've had several people reach out to me and say they were going to be here that I haven't seen in years. So it's 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 been a blast. I hope that the meets start coming back here some more because, you know, as you've seen, these, these athletes are responding, and it's great, and it's so much fun. What do you think you have to work on to, uh, you know, make some improvement and get ready for the trials? For me right now, it's consistency. Um, I have a new coach this year, and so we've been kind of working on some things, and it's been good, but I just have to kind of find my competitive self again, and I was able to do that at USA's, and I got really excited, and the timing's coming back, and I know it's there. It's just getting consistent, and then, you know, seeing these girls a lot where I'm competing against these top girls, and that's really going to be what prepares me best for Rio. Where are you training at? I'm in Tucson, Arizona right now. Is that where you've been training? Or you yeah, I've, I've been there off and on since 2007. Okay. So, yeah. So, you kind of, you've got the feel for it. So, so, at this point, you know, any last words here? You're looking, like you said, next four months. And right. Ready for the next big meet. Any last words on anything? You know, I'm just grateful for everybody that came out and cheered for us. I mean, we don't see moments like Michelle's very often. And so, to have everybody there uh, cheering, and, and I just thank them for coming out.